In the previous lecture, we solved our problem number one on reciprocity theorem. And now in this presentation, we are going to solve our problem number two. And according to the problem, we need to find the value of current I, this current, when network N is satisfying all the reciprocity conditions. So we have a network N which is satisfying all the reciprocity conditions now you are required to find out current I in this question. And uh, before I explain you the solution of this question, I want you to pause this video and try to find out I on your own. I hope you are done. Now we will move on to the solution. I will say this is branch X of network N and this is branch Y of network N. And this one here is our case number one and this is our case number two. In the first case, in case one, network N's X branch is having the current 5 amperes entering the network and also one 10 volts source is present. And uh, the Y branch is having current 2 amperes leaving the network. And in case number two, in case number 2 we have 30 volts source in the branch X and current I is leaving the network and we have 30 volts source in branch Y as well. So now we understand the arrangement in the two cases and to find out current I we need to take help of reciprocity theorem plus the superposition theorem. Why superposition theorem? Because current I will be due to this source and this source. So we will first try to find out current in this branch due to this source and then we will find out current in this branch due to this source and finally we are going to add the two currents to have current I. So let us proceed to our calculations. First we will calculate current in this branch due to this source. So we will find out current due to 30 volts source present in branch Y. So I will write Y here. And uh, for this purpose, we need to make one modification in our network. To find out current due to this source, we will turn off this source. Why? Because we know that in case of superposition theorem, while we calculate the current or voltage due to a single independent source, we turn off all the other independent sources. And if we talk about this case, then apart from this source, we only have this source. We will turn it off by replacing it with a short circuit. So this is how our modification will look like. And I will rename the current. It is not I. I will be the sum of two currents we will obtain. This current is let's say I1. Now we will find out I1 with the help of reciprocity theorem. We know the ratio of response to excitation in the two cases will remain the same. In this case, the ratio of response to excitation is 2 over 10. 2 over 10. And in this case, it is equal to I1 over 30. I1 over 30 and they are same according to reciprocity theorem. From here we will have current I1 easily. It is equal to 6 amperes. So in this way we are done with calculating current due to this source. Now we will calculate current due to this source which is 30 volts source present in X branch. Again we will do the modification and uh, this time we are going to short circuit this source. We are done short circuiting the source and I will now rename the current to I2. To find out I2 we will use the internal resistance of the network. In this case the internal resistance let's call it R sub i n will be equal to voltage divided by current. 10 volts divided by 5 amperes will give us the internal resistance equal 
to 2 ohms and uh, we know that we have the same network in the two cases and therefore the internal resistance will also remain the same and uh, from here we are getting the internal resistance equal to 30 volts 30 volts divided by negative of I2 why negative of I2 because I2 is having the opposite direction as compared to this direction using which we calculated the internal resistance so here we have negative of I2 we know the internal resistance is 2 ohms so the value of internal resistance is 2 ohms and therefore I2 will be equal to minus 15 amperes so in this way we have calculated current i2 we already calculated current i1 now from super position theorem we can say that current i current i will be equal to i1 i1 plus i2 so we have i equal to 6 amperes plus minus 15 amperes so finally current i is equal to minus 9 amperes this is our answer and uh, minus 9 means the direction of current i is not like this not leaving the network it is entering the network now we will move on to the homework problem in this problem you need to find current i you need to find out current i when network n is satisfying all the reciprocity conditions so try to find out current i and once you have your answer don't forget to post it in the comment section this is all for this lecture i will end it here see you in the next one